Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a freaking awesome day. Why? Because we're going to be talking about some potho plants today. That's why. Myers, knock it off. Come here. It's my dog. Look, I got them all tricked out for Christmas. Actually, not really. I'm going to be uh, dressing him up as a gingerbread man. So whenever I do that, we'll uh, take a video of that and add it. So, Devil's Ivy is the topic today. Um, I had done a lot of... Actually, first, before we talk about that, uh, I had a lot of new subs. I know it's been a couple weeks since uh, I've done a video. I, I you know, I, I do the videos based on, on if I have any topics, you know, so... This is something I've been working on for a couple weeks, but also I rely on some of you. Uh, one of my subscribers, G Family, would like me to do a video on on fish, on how to be able to, to determine if they're sick or not, you know, before you buy, which I, I can understand. That's a, a, a huge deal. I'm extremely picky with fish. Yes, I'm mostly a plant person, but when it comes to animals... You, you know, I, I'll walk in there and look at every fish and just be like, they're all sick, and then, and then just leave, you know. So, um, on my next video, we'll get to that. Uh, but new subscribers. Now, there were so many that I'm only going to do shout-outs to the people who actually made comments. Um, my emails uh, blew up, and I appreciate you all. So, um, the people who commented and said hi and said, hey, I subbed. Uh, first one being uh, American... Americana Zadar? Hey, what's happening, man? Or girl. I, I've made this mistake before, so. Happy, uh, welcome new subscriber. Uh, Said Ali. D. Ebner. Jet 27. Saturnock. Craigathonian. And rats are magic. Yeah, they are. I've had them before. About 300 of them. One of the walls of my house. Guess what happened? I moved. No, I'm just kidding. They are actually great pets. Um, I I used to have rats. Um, and that was because I had snakes in my younger years. And then I couldn't handle the heartbreak of the snakes eating the rats anymore. And then not only did I have snakes that I couldn't feed, I now had a bunch of rats that had bred like crazy, and I just had a giant cage of rats and starving snakes. So what do I do? So I got rid of everything. Anyway, so let's get to the topic because once again, we're three minutes in and haven't even gotten to the point yet. Once again. So, Devil's Ivy. Now, um... I love plants, and now I wanted to go outside of doing plants that are strictly aquatic. Um, you know, a lot of the plants that you get are propagated and reproduced, immersed in very damp, wet, soggy soil and buckets, you know, where the humidity is really high, like 80%, you know, so it's almost like they're submerged, sort of, but not really, um, but... Uh, Devil's Ivy is definitely not an aquatic plant. This is one my wife had bought. She does the house plants, and I we have lots. Uh, I also have some uh, English Ivy, and I'm going to try that one next. But anyway, I started to research, and of course, I never believe anything I read, even if it's through Google. Um, I always assume someone's trying to deceive me. Hold on, I'm going to have a sip of my soda. Mmm. Venoms. Free advertisement for Venoms. 99 cents. Uh, anyway, so what I had read is that if you want them to grow immersed, because a lot of us are aware that they can grow immersed, all the recommendations that I was seeing was take your potted plant, let the vine start growing across the top of the water, and eventually you'll start getting some kind of immersed growing roots of some kind. But in general, everything was still suggesting that I have a potted 
a, a, a potted plant of it near the tank. And you would have roots in here that, you know, keep the plant going, obviously. And then eventually you would start growing immersed um, vines across, which didn't make sense to me because looking at it, if you look here, it has nodes. This is a lot similar to what a stem plant would look like. Um, uh, Bacopa, um, Cardinals, um, things of those natures where they have these little knots. And uh, uh, Anubius is a good example. They'll have a uh, node, and then by the node, a couple leaves will sprout out. And then I noticed that they have these little brown notches. If you can see those. Um, and I took that as those are roots, uh, or potential roots, but they're just not doing anything because they're not going over water or soil or anything like that. Anyway, I did not feel it was necessary that I hang this near the edge of my tank and all of that, uh, you know, crocomalaka. I was like, if this is going to work, I need it to work how I want it to work and be convenient. You know, and if I'm going to grow a plant that's not an aquatic plant whatsoever, but apparently it can be grown immersed, that I would just take a clipping. So I picked a vine that had something kind of new, like this, and I made sure that it had near it one of these little brown nuggets that, for me, signified these were potential roots. And I counted back about five nodes and uh, took a snip. Uh, I also know they are poisonous, uh, but they're only poisonous if their stem, where you snipped, is then submerged in water, and it'll release toxins into your water. Now, that's that's very temporary. After a couple days, uh, um, it, that end where you snipped hardens up and heals over like a scar, so it's not going to be releasing anything in there. I did not do much. I want to show you what what uh, the power of nature, because it adapted. I, I completely disconnected it from the entire plant and every root. And this is a result that I've got. And if you look, you'll see I've got it, and it has grown. It's been two weeks since I've done since I've done this. So let me show you. All right, are you ready? This is going to blow your mind. Oh, what do we got? These roots came from those little brown nuggies. Now, all I did was I just, you know, took this, took a snip. You can see this is the old spot where I snipped. And like I said, it's just kind of darkening over. And I had a, I thought, well, you know, it's doing, it's converting near the front. Um, so all of this is all, all these leaves right here are all new growth. So I presume that probably only this would continue to grow and all of this down here would die. Um, but that, that's not the case. It's not, they're not wilting or anything there. It is these, what is it? Six roots. Um, and it happened pretty quickly. I mean, within 24 hours, I started to notice. I mean, look at the difference. Here's a potted one, and here's the one that I have growing aquatic. I mean, that that's <laughs> pretty shocking and amazing. And also, because I'm still letting this tank cycle, I had um, uh, ammonia and uh, nitrite, uh, nitrates and nitrites through the roof. Which is fine. I, I let my tanks grow in for months before I I start, you know, even thinking about fish or anything like that. I want to. I want a well-established tank before I put animals in there. Um, you, you know, sometimes a nitrogen nitrogen cycle can be complete, but then two weeks later you'll get another ammonia spike, and that's that's just the way of thing. Especially if you're using some kind of a uh, aquatic soil like. Uh, Amazonia uh, aquatic soil is notorious for that. It'll do its cycle 30 days, you'll see no ammonia, and then you'll have uh, nitrates, which tells you, hey, it's done. 
but then two weeks after that, it'll have another uh, spike. So, anyway, we're getting off topic again. So, pump those! Devil's IV. Uh, so, look at what we got. I just snipped off a vine, and I wanted to see what would happen. And that's it. This is, and I, I didn't do anything. I mean, I, I literally, I pretty much just kind of floated it. And um, it also said that the stems couldn't be submerged at all, that it would start rotting it. This whole thing across here, all of this was underwater. These are all new leaves. And if you can see right here, I want you to see each leaf will sprout a new leaf. And look right here. This white part. Sorry. I'm trying to give. That is a new leaf that's growing. Okay. And like this is this right here. This one is just now starting to open up. This sprouted off this one, and each leaf grows a new leaf. And the vine continues in like every direction. So eventually, this is no longer a potted plant, but I'm going to have this uh, vine of ivy growing all the way back and forth across the top. And that's because I do know what kind of fish I'm going to put in here. Um, I did all this this wood, you know, you guys have been watching it grow, which by the way, my carpeting is going fantastic with those crypts. I think it looks great so far. Um, so I'll do an update when it's fully grown in. Let's get these guys back in the water. And it no longer matters if that other end is in the uh submerged in the water anymore there's no more toxins going in there i kept testing and testing to see if i could even see what this toxin was if it would show up i have no idea what it is or if it's even capable of being read in any sense that it has done that it's you know made the water toxic but you know i'm on let's see six six weeks now on this tank still no fish i'm really not worried about that even if i really poison the water I'm still rotating it, so uh, I, meaning like I suck old water out and put new water in um, here and there while the nitrogen process is happening. But anyway, I wanted to wait a couple weeks to see the results without doing it this hefty way that I kept googling that it it was it, it was suggesting the only way that it was possible was to have it a potted a potted plant of it growing nearby and allowing the vines to go. Well, obviously, that's you don't have to do that. Snip a vine off. Make sure it has some new growth, and those little brown nuggies will start converting into immersed grown, uh, grown roots. And now this is going to be a wicked top. Uh, I, you know, I was thinking maybe a bunch of uh, Anubias and stuff. I wanted to plant to the uh, plant to the top of all of these logs, or um, what were we, I had several ideas, but anyway. This one was something I took for free. Well, not for free. My wife had bought it, but for me it was free. Um, off of a plant, and it's actually doing better immersed than it's been doing in this pot for a year. So, that's all I've got to say about that. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, uh, I, I know not everyone watches my videos. They do tend to run a little bit long, and that's because I, I describe everything descriptively, and I am always getting off topic. Um... But uh, to G family wanted to know if I'm if I would do a video uh, about fish and how to tell if they're going to have sicknesses. I will do a video on that. Um, also a video on Osmocote, which is a fertilizer for potted plants. I'm going to do a video on that. And if anyone new here uh, who has subscribed has a video that they would like me to do, and even if I know nothing about it. I will give it a try and show you what the outcome is. Uh, so if, if I don't have an answer for you, you know, in, in a video in the comment section, I'll tell you I'm sorry, I, I don't know that, and I have told people that before. If I don't know it, what the hell am I supposed to tell you? I mean, there are some YouTubers out there that'll just start telling you whatever random shit they can think of, uh, but that doesn't make any sense. How does that benefit you? Anyway, so... Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you do give Devil's Ivy a try. And I'm going to start with my English Ivy next and see if I can get the same results, and we'll go from there. 
Uh, like I said, drop a comment if there's a video you'd like me to uh, to do. I'll do it. Uh, uh, I'm now doing videos based off you guys. This is the last tank. My wife said, no more tanks. So, all right. Let's get all the experimenting going in this tank right here. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And like always, if you're having a bad day, if you're down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. Catch you next time.